how is it going guys today i'm here with victoria and john and uh we're about to talk about their relationship and what they're going through and how this relationship came about and because i think they're the new couple of 2022 so i know that you guys have both of you have a platform you got two million on instagram you have a million but i know your page has been deleted she got three you got three point two excuse me three point two <laughs> and um i know your page because i've been following you like for a minute and your page got deleted several times so right now you're at a million yeah. okay i'd rather have my million that i have now than any of my followers. really because yeah. the following is, is better now yeah it's i have i feel like now i have more of a, a supportive following than before so got you you think it's because of the content you were putting before? Yeah, well, it's like <clears throat> it's like now more than my followers connecting with me, I connect with my followers. Okay. Because uh like before, I wasn't I didn't care about like connecting with uh my following or like I was just the only thing was on my mind was like doing the most outlandish thing mm -hmm. to gain uh, to gain followers okay. and viewers. But now I just like simply just be me and uh and now people follow me uh, i don't even really post like that so if somebody follow me it's like probably for like some like me sharing a testimony or like gospel or something mm -hmm. like that but it's like yeah i rather have my following i have now than okay any other ones have. so both of you have changed your name mm -hmm. so what was it for you why did you change your name because i looked you up i was like okay well vicky mm -hmm. that wasn't there Oh yeah. And, <laughs> so I'm like, why did you change your name to Victoria Rose? Um, well that's my real name. Okay. And then um I went I actually been wanting to change it but I didn't know how I could get the username. Okay. But he helped me get the username. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you? Why 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 did you change your name? Oh well that's actually interesting. It's like um you know like everybody know like I I used to go by boom. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Boom is actually it's a family nickname, and then how I started with Boom Gang is because um, the saying I used to say Boom Gang a lot. Of, so mm -hmm. when I when I used to say that, people used to call me Boom Gang, and I'm like, that's not my name. <laughs> it's Boom, but mm -hmm. Boom Gang. I don't know why they call me that. Yeah. So I'm like, whatever. I just I just start going with it. But then it's like, but before I started going by that, like. I always wanted to go by my name because my name is John John Hill. Okay. But uh, I didn't never want to use John Hill because I'm like, it's not that's not really fire. So I'm like, I got, but I got inspired because Kevin Gates, Kevin Gates, his name is Kevin Gilliard, and I believe he got Gates from Bill Gates. I'm not really sure. Okay. Yeah, but I thought it was cool. I know his his song here is like niggas know him by his first name. And I thought it was so fun. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to use my real name. But okay. I just never knew what to call myself. So, um, but after that little boom gang area, and uh, like after I really like saw it change, I'm like, and I like, I made a decision like, okay, I'm done with like being a famous. Um, I literally like deleted all my social medias at one point when I uh, first gave my life to Christ. Mm -hmm. Then like, I started going by John Hill, just my name, John Hill Jr. And then, uh, but I used to, I talked to this, um, I was messing with this girl, right? And <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with this girl and I, I think she was like a stripper or something, but her name was uh, Versace. And I thought that was pretty cool that she had like a, a, a designer name. And um, I can I, hear everything you said. <laughs> uh, uh, and you um, already told me that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I didn't tell you. Yes, you did. I told you this. Yeah, and you, I've heard you say it like fuck. Well, you heard me say it. I, no, you told me. I told you. Yeah. Well, I was messing with a girl, and he was Versace. I thought it was cool. She had a designer name. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, I want a designer name. And um, it's the same like with Gucci Mane. Yeah. So I'm like, I want a designer name. So I looked up like designers. And then I seen like Hermes, Versace, or stuff like this. So I literally just like John, Hermes, John, okay. Gucci, John, yeah. this, and we're like that. And then I got to like Dolce and Gabbana, like 
like I'm not even into like designer and stuff, mm-hmm. but I just thought it was fire. And then I like John Gabbana. Ooh, like, that John sounds Gabbana, good. That sounds good. So I typed it in Instagram mm-hmm. and John Gabbana was available. Wow. And I, so I sent it to all my friends. I'm like, hey, how did this sound? John Gabbana. They like, oh, I like it. I'm like, you know what? Now this was 2018, mm-hmm. at the end of 2018, like going towards the uh, end of 2018. So this was like four years ago now. And um, I just stuck with it. That's it. Yeah, okay. just, like That's people cool. now, people will meet me now and they be like, oh, so you, ch- you, you, you changed your name? Like they're thinking something recent, but it's if, been a minute. if you look up when did yeah. Boom change his name, it's literally back in 2018. Yeah. People is just not catching on. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's my whole that's, thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, how did you guys meet? Uh, actually, it was like two or three years ago. Three years okay. ago. Okay. Um, she reached out to me as a collab in the video. And this was like, I, um, this was like when my social media was like, uh, I just got it back. So my following was like low. Okay. But. She reached out to do a video with me. A YouTube video. Yeah, the little mukbang. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't even know what a mukbang was, yeah. but we did okay, that. Did it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that was like the last time I talked to her until like, but ever since she left like this impression on me. Mm-hmm. Like when I first met her, like, uh, like I just liked her and like her personality. I thought she was cool. I thought she was very pretty. And I, I liked her, but it just wasn't, it just, I wasn't in the right state of mind or position in my life to even like try to yeah. mess with on that type of level. But like, um, at the end of last year, like around October, I messaged her and I was like, yo, and she was like, no, I was like, yo, yo, she said, yo. And then I was like, hey, if I give you my number, are you gonna call me? Mm-hmm. And I was like that. But before that, I like I messaged her like twice and she left me on red. Mm. <laughs> but why? Why you did that? Because she was in a little relationship. Oh, uh, like, where? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that was last October when he did me. But ever since then we've been talking. Since October. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how was the the dating process? That now you guys okay? You gave her your number. You called. Did you? I think she texted. Texted. Text okay. Yeah. And then and then what happened? You guys met up. Well, it was like I had a fight November fifth, and what type of fight? Like boxing. Boxing. Okay. Because I I just started boxing. That was like, so um, afterwards texting everything, I was like, hey, you should come to my, you should come to my fight. I have a fight coming up, and mm-hmm. like that was probably like two three weeks before my probably like two weeks before my fight. Okay. I was like you should come to my fight, and uh, she came. Okay, where was that in Atlanta? Pensacola. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where do you guys live? She's staying in Atlanta. Yeah, I stay in Jacksonville. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So tell me, then you went to the fight. <laughs> what happened? But we you lost. No, nah, I won. You won. Okay. I actually won within like yeah. I, I won within. I knocked him out the first round. Oh wow! It was probably like it was like right before the first round was over. But I got a good lick on him. Okay. <laughs> but when we did the video three years ago, we both lived in LA. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got you. Yeah. So what happened after the fight? Um, we was just kicking it. Kicking it's, it's, it. Uh, yeah. That's it. So when did you guys decide to stop the dating process and like be together? To like start the dating process? No, she, stop. Like stop. to be done with dating and be like, okay, we're gonna be together. She like, stopped like, like when did we when did we stop talking and. Yeah. Oh, became a night time. Yeah, yeah. Became an idol. <laughs> no, you guys don't say that. No, no, that's not funny. That's not, uh, uh, now that's funny because you say that. Dad no, my dad said that. Yeah, she was um, <laughs> she was in my city. And, that was after your fight too. Yeah, she was in my city, so we was in Jacksonville, and uh, I was taking my dad home, mm-hmm. and my dad was uh, he was talking about something. No, wait, what he said? He was like um. He was like, um, oh, he said something, and he was like, what? That's well, that's what I'm he, saying. He was like, that's my girl, and he was like, oh, so y'all an item? Mm. You might as well let me finish telling it. So, <laughs> all of us tonight, yeah, so my dad was, he was talking about something, and he was like, that's cool that you get to be with your friend and do that. And I was like, my friend? Mm. I'm like, nah, that's more than my friend. Okay. I said, that's my girl right there. And then my dad was like, oh, so y'all an item now? Yeah, okay. yeah, and that was just funny because I never heard that from him before. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you fly her out to, to come watch you? No, nah, she flew herself out. And, uh, okay. That, yeah, that's true. Did it make you feel like, okay, she's different because she's not asking you to do stuff for her? Yeah, that's 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 good for mm -hmm. a, one, a young lady to be able to hold her own. That's, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you guys remember your first kiss? Uh, um... <laughs> you guys don't remember? I'm not sure. <laughs> Nah, I'm not sure. It was, I don't know if it was before or after your fight. Okay. Oh, dang, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, but wait, you didn't tell me, so how did you guys decide? Well, I asked her to, to be my girlfriend. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Like, that was like uh, before before New Year's. Yeah, like right okay. before New Year's, I was just like, um, well, like before I, I went, I, I flew to Atlanta, but before I got there, I was like, uh, when I was on the phone, I was like, hey, I got something to tell you, but I want to tell you in person. Okay. Because it's like, see, it's like, like, I'm a man about a lot of, like, some stuff, you don't talk over the phone. Like, mm -hmm. like I like to be personal. Like, I like to have just that intimacy, like, where it's sure. face to face. Like, um, even if it's, like, just serious stuff, I like to talk about it in person. Were you nervous when he told you, I got something I want to tell you? you? She said she was. She was like, um... Are you cheating? Are you <laughs> well, well, I told her I had something to tell her, so I forgot. But when I when we was at the hotel, uh, we was eating, and when we was eating, she was like, "So you had something to tell me?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, I did." So I put my food down, and then she was laying on the bed. And I sat in the bed. And I was like, "Okay, so look." No, you standing over the bed. Oh, I was standing over the bed. Yeah. I was. <laughs> yeah, so I was standing over the bed. Yeah. But you told me to sit down, just like making you nervous or something. You make me uncomfortable. Oh yeah. yeah. So I sat down, <laughs> and then I was like, "Yeah, see, I said, um, so I don't know if you're doing your own thing or not, you know, but I just want to uh, put this out there because we don't have a." Uh, I was like, we. Like you was like, I'm talking to a lot of girls. Oh yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I. That's what I was that's like. That's how you approach her. Well yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay. I was like, so. Because I was talking like 10 girls. Yeah, I was like, so I'm talking to like 10 girls. Okay. You know, but I feel like you're the one. So I just wanted to do like that. But well, I was just playing. Yeah, know. but I, okay. knew, I knew he was capping though. Yeah, I was just playing. I was just joking. Yeah. So what did you say? But I eventually, I was like, you know, I, I thought that's what I was playing. I was just like, um, so, uh, you know, we just didn't like confirm this between two of us. Mm -hmm. I forgot what all I said, but I, I was just like, I want you to be my girlfriend. And then she was like, uh, I want to be. And then nice. I, like, I, I started to talk a little bit more. And she was like, I said, I want to be. I was like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just. She was like, like, you don't got to convince me. I'm, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why were you down? What is it about him that you were like, I want to be with him? Oh, um, um I've, I've been like him. Cat. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Cat. Why are you saying that? She's so saying it. twice. I don't remember so? that, but I had a dream about him <laughs> before he, I probably, when he said I left him on red around that time, I had a dream about him. Mm -hmm. Why you left him on red? Because you felt like he wasn't ready for you? Nah, she was. Oh, I you were in a relationship? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, so how is, uh, as far as your fan base, how are you, how are they reacting to you guys dating i see like on both of your page you guys are posting each other is it like people are hating they're loving it what what are they thinking no i think people love good. it they love it yeah it's, it's good it's, really? it's good I know, that's awesome um, mm -hmm. i know on the internet it's good and shoot last week well like when i'm when i'm by myself and people see me, they always ask where she's at. Mm. And she be telling me, like, when she, uh, people be asking where I'm at when they see her. Yeah. But I know, was that main event last week? And there was this group of girls, but one of them, see, they see me, and they ran to me, oh my God, you and Vicky is my favorite couple. Um, Where is she, is she here? I'm like, yeah, she's here, she's over there. Nice. But that's, it's all good. How does it feel to, like, like for example, the people coming up to you and saying that uh, you are their favorite couple. Is it like, you know how we say couples goals and stuff? Like, do you guys feel like that's what you are? Well, you know, honestly for me, like to be real, I think it's good. 
I think it's real good because it's like this um it's like we stand for something. Mm -hmm. So it's like this is not just an ordinary relationship. And it's um when you know, I have people who look up to me, she has people who look up to her. And coming from where we came from or how we came up, people really get to see the growth, not only individually but together. And hopefully that just inspire young younger couples and other couples mm -hmm. just to to love one another the correct way. You know, it's it's a lot of tox, toxic toxic mm -hmm. relationship and just stuff out there and just uh I really think that we could really be a light and example to to other people relation and, and their relationship. Mm -hmm. so. right. Knowing that both of you are like famous, do you think that some people look at you like um, you guys are in a relationship for clout, you know, like it, it I've seen some comments like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, there was like, is this fake? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but you know that. Like, but I don't yeah, no, nah, it's not fake. But yeah. you know that. I never. Um, the only thing that I ever done really for clout is like how I came up, mm -hmm. and that's like just where I like got myself in as much trouble as I could to get more views. Yeah. But other than that, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, oh, see, I remember after we did our mukbang, she asked me, she wanted to do another video with me. Mm -hmm. And she- That was uh, a long time ago. Yeah, this was three years ago. Yeah. yeah. And she was like, she wanted me to play her boyfriend. Okay. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Cause I didn't want to, I didn't feel comfortable just playing that type of, for a video. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't really, uh, I'm, I'd be 26 this year, but it's like, when I first got famous, I was 20, wow. 21. So it's like, out of, now I'm going into my mid 20s, uh, it's like, I don't really play little boy games anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I've been through enough in life to really mature me and uh, expand my thinking. And, um, but what I was saying was, uh, I forgot where I was going with this, dang. <laughs> I forgot. What was your question again? Um, oh, yeah. If I it's clout. Oh, yeah. That's what I, like that. Let me see. What I, I was going to say something, though. I was I was going to say... Uh, dang, what was I going to say? This is very welcome back. Yeah. What is... Do you guys have a favorite couple that you look at to and that you would like to be, you know? No. Like, it sucks. I lost my train of thought. You say no? But no. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm-mm. Do you think that dating is this day and age is like difficult, easy? Like before you guys work together, how did you feel? Especially that you guys are known, is it? Um, I'm what? sure it's easy for you, I mean for the both of you, to get a bunch of girls, to get guys. Everybody is kind of like interested in you already. Oh, I'm not even sure about that. No? No, I don't know. It's because uh, it's like I don't live in world standards. I live by God's standards. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Uh, so I know how I am with when it comes to girls. Like my old life, man, I used to be with any girl I want to be or try to be with as many girls as I could. But it's like since I got saved, uh, God commands us to be with you know to have one wife. Mm -hmm. So instead of me trying to pity cake and play around, I was out uh, really not seeking for a wife. But how can I? like be the man and husband I could be or I can attract the woman that I you know that I need in my life mm -hmm. but uh just I used to pray for a wife all last year just um just to really get serious but uh I'm not I don't even recognize if there's yeah any other girl too which I don't know okay what about you uh guys what was the dating before him? How was um, that? Yeah, like I used to pray for a husband too. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you were naturally dating or? Uh, no, nah, not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It was tough though. It was like, because I wanted a girl, but ever since I got right with God, my heart was different. It's like I went on a few dates with girls, but I didn't look at women the same. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't look at women the same. And it's like certain little stuff that they do. I'm like, no, nah, I can't. I can't really mess with you because mm -hmm. we on two different type of times. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. Yeah, it was all different. So you guys are in it to eventually get married. Yeah, we already started marital counseling. 
Oh, wow. That's awesome. How long ago? Uh, like a week ago. We had one session. Okay. But it's like, we um dunk who y'all met. That's our customer. Yeah. Okay. But he doing all, he's he's going that's like a six to eight week process, and then she have a mentor, and at first I didn't want to counsel with him because I don't want there to be a conflict of interest. Okay. Her counselor, I mean her mentor, you know I just met him, but I don't. I, I have, just met him too. Mm -hmm. But um, so after I talked to him on the phone, I had a conversation with him. He said he respected uh my decision and why I didn't want to counsel with him. Okay. But after I chopped it up with him, I felt more comfortable of counseling with him. And because I don't want to rush into anything and I really want my marriage to last mm -hmm. as it being my first marriage, I want it to be my only marriage because in God, when you're married and you say your vows and stuff, divorce is not an option. Yeah. So it's like, I, um, I want to take the correct protocols so my marriage can last. Mm -hmm. So um, I said that to say now I'm not only we're not gonna only counsel with one, but we're gonna counsel with two. Okay. So nice. Is there a timeline? Of no. No timeline. Uh -huh. Just when you feel ready. Yeah. Kids after marriage. Are you yeah. Busy? I want more. I got you a son. Have, you I have a son. One. Okay. Yeah, I have a son. You you don't have any kids. No. No. How many do you want? Um, I used to want seven. Excuse me. <laughs> but now I just want four. A four? Yeah. Boy, girls? Both. Both? Yeah. How many do you want? I'm cool with four. But however many God blesses me, you know. Yeah, thanks. Okay. That's as long cool. as my babies are healthy. Yeah. A healthy baby. How um your families, do they support your relationship? Do they know about? Yeah, she met yeah. a lot of my family. Okay. She yeah. met almost most of my family. They like her? Yeah, they like it because she's real down to earth. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, like me, I still stay in the hood, so it's like, um, and you know, my my life is not perfect. I made a lot of decisions, a lot of I made a lot of mistakes that I'm like God is just. Well, I just gave my life to God, but God is now bringing me out of. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, like my first, like when she first came to my my hood. I, in my city, like I thought she would be like, well, when I first, I thought she would just be like bougie and mm -hmm. all that. It's she doesn't look like this from social media. I don't get that from her. Yeah. I, I, did. Did. I don't get that. No, I feel like really down I, to her that you can take her anywhere. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I did. You know, when I go on her social media, pretty white girl. Yeah, dressed. but you hear how she talks. You know she's not bougie. But before, like, before I actually, like, knew her, a pretty white girl, um, you see her page, like, she have nice things, you know, this. Mm -hmm. Like, I really don't, you know, do she, like, uh, me, I know the struggle, yeah. you know, been through it. So, it's like, when I look at a girl like that, I think, like, she think, like, she's just full of herself. Mm -hmm. But it's like, when I actually met her and then took her to the hood and took her around my family and stuff, like, she chill and real down yeah. to earth and a sweet girl. I'm like. That's nice. Yeah. So, that that really what made me attract to her more. Mm -hmm. What about your family? Um, yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I met her mom. My mom, my mom, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That. yeah. What did you think? Were you nervous when you met them? Nah. No? I don't know. You're meeting the the parents of your of your girl. Well, I was like, I was I was joking and I was texting. I thought I met her dad. I was like, man, because uh, she took me to her house. My parents are together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She took me to her house and her dad was there and she didn't know. And, it's, and I was like, oh well, I mean yeah. your dad. Yeah. And then <laughs> after I met him, I went to go get some food for me real quick. Walk mm -hmm. the house and I was texting. I was like, man, if I knew I was meeting your dad today, I'd have got out of war new face. It's not, I was just joking around. Okay, no, I got to it's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, as far as like um, now that people know that you're together, mm -hmm. is it more people like sliding in your DMs? You know, like no. I feel like sometimes when you're in a relationship and people yeah. see you happy, then they're like, oh my God, maybe I, I messed up. You know, so maybe now I need to get at her or I need to get at him. Do you guys get more of that or no? No, I don't. No. Oh, that's cool. Well, uh, I don't think it's much, but I had a few crazy DMs. Mm -hmm. But I don't really, I don't even get my DMs like that, honestly. Okay, when you say crazy, what do you mean? I, uh, 
No. <laughs> Like, like it be like random people that DM me that I don't know, but I don't really count that. Like as far as people that I know, okay. they, don't, they don't do that. They don't do that. Yeah, that's good. So they have some type of respect for you guys' relationship. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I don't okay. know. Also, you guys are an interracial couple. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult? People say stuff to you naturally. I don't know. I don't know, but sure. Um, well, my, actually, my grandparents, uh, my grandparent, my grandma's white and my grandfather's black, but I wouldn't care what people, man, I'm mean, happy. I'm like, man, I'm a black man with a face full of tattoos. Mm -hmm. People might judge me off rip if they don't know who I am. Yeah. But me with a white girl, that take a lot of. Oh, uh, so now they think you're. You know, that, you're a cause, uh, cooler, nicer. Somebody who don't know me, I look like this, and I get a pretty white girl. Mm -hmm. Something got to be up with me. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> That's I'm, something special. Yeah, that, that you know, something. Because what is she doing with someone? <laughs> but, you know, if, if they don't know who we are, mm -hmm. you know, but it's like. Yeah, like um, the police pulled him over, and I was in the car, and it was like, is there any marijuana in here? Wow. Yeah. Well, the police yeah. gonna do that. They're still gonna say. Yeah, police gonna do that. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, like, the public, like, shoot, um, I be feeling like I got a trophy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. How do you feel? <laughs> you good? Yeah, you feel yeah. good being with him, being out with him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, let's talk about real quick, Kim and Kanye. What you guys are thinking about this? This thing happening right now. I think then, that's all fake. What's happening? I think that's all fake. Uh, so they're getting a divorce, and yeah. he's with Julia Fox, a new. Yeah, I think that's all fake. Now, Kanye, he he a marketing genius. Okay. And I think he do all that stuff fake, and yeah. So that what's fake? The and new relationship or the, even the separation and getting the new house next to, to Kim. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just think yeah. all that stuff just fake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, we'll see you soon, I guess. Yeah. Um. Oh, what's your biggest fear, dating him? Um, I don't know. I gotta think about that. Wait, and ask him. Okay. What's your <laughs> biggest fear, dating Dicky? I don't think I really have any fears. No. Yeah. No fears. No expectations. Mm hmm I just wanna, I accept her as she is now and just grow. Yeah, because yeah. you know, like you don't think maybe he gets girls or you don't have any issues. I think or... that's a childish mentality going into a relationship. Yeah, yeah, I think that's real. Okay, yeah. and I think as long as you're secure mm -hmm. and he makes you feel good, you know, mm -hmm. it's no, it's not gonna be an issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you seem like very honest. And yeah, very, very too much. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Hey, um, are you guys in love yet? I love her. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, I really love. Her. I love. Um, you know, uh, I don't. I don't see the the internet, the sauna, or like uh, the whole Vicky or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I just see it as Victoria and what's inside of her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like so she's sweet. She's uh, she's loving. She's caring. She she's. <clears throat> She's like uh, a little too nice. Too nice. Yeah, she, you know, but that's just the beautiful side of her. Uh, but I, I, I really love her. She brings, she brings out a, a another side of me, as in like, cause me, um, like I could be probably like a little too mean sometimes, yeah. but you know. Uh, she makes you a little soft. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. he be making me a little meaner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, stop being nice like this. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. cool. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Yeah, that was nice talking to you. You guys are awesome. Like, I really like the, the energy that you guys bring, and I really love what you say about her. Because, you know, a lot of guys don't really talk about how the girl made them feel, and it seems like she's making you better. I really like that. Oh yeah, uh, making each other. Better. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. You yeah, too. I appreciate it. Thank you.